Which local film has the tagline, this is not a love story? The Faithful and the Foul, The Princess and the Musician, Dead Billy, or Hook? Welcome back from Night of the Living Dead, where the movie is black and white, and so are the leads. We're joined today <laughs> by, by Jason, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit more about, uh, about his movie and some of the people that helped out with that. Yeah, that's what I absolutely give a shout out to all the actors in Pizza Girl Massacre, is it was, you know, super low budget movie, we were working under time constraints, and I really need to give a shout out to everybody for just putting up with everything on set, being covered in blood all the time, shooting really long days. It was just kind of a, you know, really rough situation for the actors. In particular, Amy Bork and Rhiannon Frazier, they were covered in blood for hours on end. Yeah, and, you know, I really don't like how your actors had to deal with that filming. Oh, no, it was totally fine. Like, you know, Amy would be covered in blood and she'd still have to put oh, no. food out for everybody. Katie and Foreman would have a bag on her head and Bruce oh, she loved had it, a though. camera in his eye. And oh, no, he liked it. He, he wanted it. Laura. Drew Morrison Jason. needed what? a rolling pin what? in what? his mouth. Laura, this what? is for the <laughs> actors! Ah! Lauren, we have to play the minion together! Ah! 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 Feel better. And now, more Night of the Living Dead. Which local film has the tagline, This is not a love story? The answer is C, Dead Billy. by George Romero in his first ever zombie feature. I didn't like the way Jason Witter treated his actors and he made Drew die with the rolling pin and Katie had to die with a bag on her head. So thank you, Jason Witter, for coming on the show. And we'll see you next time on the Pulp Film Lab where we screen the awesome and awesomely bad films that you should know about.